Hi, so uh, State of the UK, um, it's kind of titled for, subtitled 14 Years of Vision. I kind of wanted to do this as a one-year report, but also uh, a 14-year report. So OpenStreetMap started in my country um, 14 years ago, you may remember that. Um, this is a map, so um, up this little green blob is, is Manchester. Um, that's where Steve Coase started mapping and he did some stuff in London. Um, this, the green blobs aren't real data, but I wanted to show these are kind of the areas of activity we've had. Um, it kind of had a lot of people in, in cities like London and Birmingham and Edinburgh on the, in Scotland, um, a lot of people on the south coast. Um, that's where the Ordnance Survey headquarters are and they're our national mapping agency that we kind of, OpenStreetMap started a bit as a competitor against them because they had no open data. Um, so, so there were lots of people mapping and we've done lots of the map. Um, but, uh, and the, the OpenStreetMap Foundation um, that you've hopefully heard about is a UK company um, and it started in the UK as well. But OpenStreetMap, the foundation, is, um, has a worldwide vision. There's other organizations like HOT that are very focused on talking about OpenStreetMap and helping people worldwide. Um, so local chapters are really important. And some people think, the, the, the UK, surely you've got the foundation already. But we needed to start this chapter. So. Last year, this is us, at, or some of us at State of the Map with the foundation directors, and we signed off as an official local chapter of, um, of the foundation. Um, and I think they're really important um, to have all around the, the world to actually understand their country individually and, and do work there. So I'll talk quickly on, on what we've been doing. We've, We've got four aims that um, you'll be able to see, see on our website later. But um, I think they're really exciting because they're talking about improving OpenStreetMap. Um, they're not, it's not quite the same as the foundation that's protecting and running the servers. We're talking about, um, we're, we're more focused on improving the community, but also um, actively promoting um, data being released and promoting how it's being used and 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 that's a lot easier um, to do on a national scale so we built one of the things we've done in the year is kind of I want to say built a fresh community this may be controversial because as I said there's lots of people and um, some of the first mappers uh, were from the UK and and are still mapping there but we hadn't done a lot as as a country for a while so we kind of had to rebuild this community because um it's no good kind of saying oh we'll come to state of the map because people don't want to always travel to another country so we built up a we've got some members now um it's it's nearing 100 members we've got a newsletter that's just making really clean it's a bit tidier than the mailing lists and it's it's clean updates on what's happening and interesting stories. Um, and events, we hosted one event in Manchester, um, which as I said, OpenStreetMap partially started there, but there aren't many active mappers and I'm not sure anyone from Manchester who lives in Manchester now is at this conference. So we had an event there and we, we made new friends and, and new mappers and told them about OpenStreetMap. Um, and we're, we're engaging people in, in new ways. Um, and we've been equipping the community, tooling them up. Oh, I've got no time. Um, so one of the great things is we bought a 360 degree camera for OpenStreetCam and Mapillary. You can rent that out and, uh, and then it gets shared around. And the, the US um, group have actually been inspired by that and bought some Dash um, cameras to, to share around. Um, we promoted OpenStreetMap, we've got lots of case studies we've written and we're still writing. There's a Welsh map. Um, when Google changed their license fees, we said, hey, we did a blog post and said, you can switch to OpenStreetMap and 
we help people say why, you know, it's not just about cost, there's good benefits, and um, we pointed them to, to ways they can switch their website or their business to OpenTreatMap. Um, and we're widening the community with other organizations like the Open Data Institute and corporate members. We need to do more of that. Um, we can talk with companies that have data that maybe aren't so good at talking with communities. Um, and particularly the Ordnance Survey and the Geospatial Commission that's about open data now. Um, yeah, so we wouldn't have been able to talk to them without this this chapter. Um, and so this is where I want to go. There's the website osmuk.org where you can see lots more because I can't talk about it all. Also, on the local chapters table out through that door in the corner, I put a book out there. So come and uh, find it or find me and, and I'll tell you more about what we're doing. I could have talked faster. <laughs> Also, tomorrow in the morning, there will be a session with the uh, OpenStreetMap uh, chapters, with all the OpenStreetMap chapters. So if you are interested in chapters, go there. Cool. And 